good day and happy new year to you all. Thank God for bringing us to this new year. You know, you must have been enjoying yourself from the first day of the year and the first uh, devotional uh, topic for the year. Today is the eighth day of January 2024. And uh, we are going to be looking at our topic for today. Put your faith to work. Put your faith to work. Today is the eighth day of January 2024. And I think the Lord is going to bless us through this. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. This morning we'll give you all the glory. Father, we'll give you all the honor. We'll give you all the adoration for you are God. Thank you for bringing us to see another year. Today, the eighth day in the year 2024. It could only have been you, no one else. Return all the glory unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, as we go into the daily devotional today, Holy Spirit, you will speak with us. Help us, O Lord, and help our faith. At the end of everything today, help us, O Lord, to believe and trust in you the more, and let faith begin to work for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Our memory verse for this morning is going to be taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 1 and verse number 20. And I'll read from here. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Our motivational quote for this morning is hope, putting faith to work when doubting would be easier. Prophetic word for today is, I decree that henceforth your faith in God will convert his promises to testimonies in your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody can say better amen to that. Amen. Our fire scripture for this morning is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter number 33, verse number 50 to 30, for verse number uh, 50 to 56. We won't be able to read that. Praise the Lord. Faith bears good fruit and yields awesome rewards when it is strong and active. Faith bears good fruits and yields awesome rewards when it is strong and active. That means faith needs to be strong and it needs to be active for you to have a result from faith. In other words, as a believer, you must always put faith into action. This is also the secret to growing your faith and converting God's promises to testimonies. Faith is a father for all things, hope of things not seen, but believing that it has been done. This is the only way whereby you can make God, make it easy for God for answer to your prayers. Things you have not seen, but you have prayed to him and the belief that you have is that God, I have prayed and be expectant that something is going to happen. Things you have not seen, but truly you have that belief that it has been done. It's a way of you saying to somebody that I'm going to my daddy. I know that when I get to my daddy and I ask for a hundred dollars, my daddy is going to give me the hundred dollars. If somebody is telling you that, are you sure your daddy will give it to you? you I mean, it's just like saying, forget it. If it is my daddy, when I ask for it, I will get it. That is an example of what faith is telling to us this morning. Remember, we are looking at put your faith to work. So going to your daddy to ask for that money is putting your faith to work. When somebody is saying it will not happen, and you are saying, he is my daddy, I know he will give it to me. That's, that is the same thing with us and God. When you pray to him, when you speak to him, Always have it at the back of your mind that it is settled. How do you have that at the back of your mind? You have not seen it. But you believe that it has happened. You believe that it will happen. You believe that you have spoken to him and it is on the way. That is faith. When Israel was preparing to enter Canaan, they put their faith into action. As our fire scripture reveals, God instructs Moses to tell his children that as soon as they get to Canaan, the first thing they should do is to divide the land among the tribes of Israel. 
the first thing to do, divide the land among the tribe of Israel. They are going to a place whereby they don't know if they are going to conquer or not. But God already told them that when you get there, you know what you will do? The land that you are going into, divide it among. With faith, already they know that they are conquered. They know already that they are conquered. The larger portion should go to the larger tribes, and the smaller portion should go to the fewer tribes. Though God had promised Abraham that his children would possess the land of Canaan, the Israelites still needed to put their faith into action in order to experience the fulfillment of the promise. Your faith in action. For you to have a fulfillment of what God has promised to you. When faith is not put to action, whatsoever thing that God has promised to you, yes, it is always difficult for you to get them. Faith speaks a lot when it comes to the promises of God. Faith speaks a lot when it comes to your asking of something from the Lord. Faith speaks a lot when you are expecting to get something back from the Lord. But when faith is not put to action, sometimes it is difficult. It sometimes holds back the hands of God. Now why did you come to me to ask when you know or when you don't believe that I will do it? Hallelujah. Hope of things not seen. You have not seen it, but you believe that it is there, that it will be done. Praise the Lord. God's promises never fails. In our memory verse, 2 Corinthians chapter number uh, 1 and verse number 20, which says, For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us, by us ourselves, by us ourselves. That promise is very, 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 I mean, it's very straightforward, by us. Beloved, you can only get the best reward for your faith when you put it to work. The only way you can get the best result for your faith is when you put it to work. You don't doubt God. You don't have any reason for you to doubt Him. No. And that is the reason why majority today you will pray to the Lord and you will find out that things are not happening because your mind is not settled. You don't have that faith that can move the mountain. The Bible says if you have faith just like the seed of mustard, you can tell the mountain to move. seed of mustard. So if you have it like a, a, a bigger seed than that of mustard, you can imagine what would have happened. You can imagine the kind of the turnaround that would have happened to your life. You can imagine the kind of confidence that you would have heard when you pray to the Lord. That is putting your faith to action. Not praying and at the back of your mind you are thinking again that uh, you know, will it be done, will it not be done? No! Always when you pray, let it be there conclusively that God has done it. No, God will do it. God has done it. And begin to celebrate. Begin to celebrate. Hallelujah. Faith at work. Putting your faith to work. Are you putting your faith to work at all? As a Christian, are you putting your faith to work at all? As a believer, are you putting your faith to work at all? Are you just dilly-dallying? Yes, I've prayed. Yes, it may happen. Yes, it may not happen. No. Your faith has to be strong when it comes to you requesting for, from the Lord. Put it to work. Begin to act it. When you ask it, begin to act it. That's the word. Ask for it and begin to act it. By that, you will be able to see the answer of the Lord. We are going on a short break. I'll be back very soon. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download. 
on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about, and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. I hope you are following me. Who has Talking about putting your face to work. Putting your face to work. Putting your face to work. When you ask it, act it. That was where I stopped. When you ask for it, act it. For example now, I will give an example of you putting your face to work. You are looking unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb. And you have prayed to the Lord. And there is a word of prophecy that says you will conceive. And you begin to go, to go and buy the things that you are going to be using for your baby, a baby girl, a baby boy, or whatever, you know. You without getting pregnant. That is, you have asked it, and you are acting it. That is faith. Putting your faith to work. Ask it, and begin to act it. And I pray that the Lord will help you and we begin to put our, our, our faith to work in the name of Jesus. Beloved, you can only get the best reward for your faith when you put it to work. In dividing the land before, the, uh, before they entered it, the Israelites demonstrated their faith in God's great promises. A land that they have not even got into. A land that it took them 40 years to get to before they even got to the land. Before they even possess the land, they have divided the land. That you know what, uh, 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 brother Joseph's generation, you are taking ten percent. Brother so so so, you are taking twenty. That is what we are talking about here. They already believed in the God of heaven that has made a promise to them, and what they did was that they shared the land even without getting to the land. Without knowing when they will get to the land, they know that the Lord has promised. Apparently, they knew that they are going to get to the land. When they will get to the land, they don't know. But the Lord has promised that you will get there. You will possess it and you should share it among the tribes. And they began to do it even without getting to the, to the land. Putting their faith to work because there has been a promise. Whenever there is a promise, there is always going to be a fulfillment. When, there is, when you are expecting a fulfillment, put your faith to work. I say it again. When you ask it, act it. When you ask it, act it. That is, that is what we are saying this morning. That is where we are going by saying, put your faith to work. Put your faith to work. Hallelujah. I hope somebody is following me this morning. The Israelites demonstrated the faith of God, the faith in God's great promises. In Numbers 34 and verse number 16 to 29, you can read that at your leisure. Men were chosen to, part, to uh, practically divide the land as God had earlier directed them. God honored and rewarded their action by making them possess that land. If they had not believed in what God had said, if they had not put their faith into action, probably they would have not gotten into the promised land. But because they believed every word of the God that we will get there, they did according to the promises of God. When there is a word of knowledge, when there is a promise from God, hold on to it and begin to act it. 
that is putting your faith to work. Majority of us will have faith. Like I keep saying to uh, one of the sisters that, you know, at the point I was counseling, I'll always tell to her that I know that you love God, but you don't trust Him. Why do I always say that to her? Because I know whenever there is a, a, a prayer, you know, we pray, you know, concerning the issues, she's always still carrying a burden in her heart. You can see how she has a zeal for God, she has everything for God, but unfortunately, she loves God so much, but she does not trust God. Not trusting God is you not having faith in God. Not having faith in God is you not putting your faith into works. The Israelites believed that, okay, the 12 tribes will share the land in between them. Without even possessing the land yet, they began to share the land according to the promises of God for them. According to the promises of God for them. What has God promised you? What have you prayed to the Lord for that you have not gotten? What have you prayed to the Lord for that you are expecting and it has not come yet? The question you will ask yourself is that are you putting your faith to work? Are you asked and you are still doubting whether God will do it? When he says it, he will do it. When he says the word, he will perform it. The Bible says there is not even one of the word that comes out of, the, of his mouth that will go down void without fulfilling that which it has been sent. No, not one. And that is the reason why you have to put your faith to work. When the words are dropping, pick it and begin to put it to work. Hallelujah. When you say it, when you pray it, when you ask it, know that you need to act it. That is putting your faith to work. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, has God made you a personal promise? If he has made a personal promise to you, are you believing in that promise at all? Just like the children of Israel, he made a promise to them and they put, and they put the promise to work just immediately. They never waited for anything. They were still looking at the promised land. They had not gotten the other, but they put the faith to work immediately. What promise has the Lord made to you? How are you taking it with levity? How are you taking it? Acting it? How are you taking it? Walking it? How are you taking it? Moving in it? If the answer is no, you need to do a U-turn. Make a turn around and begin to act it, begin to move in it, and begin to trust in that word and that promise that the Lord has made to you. I pray for you. That anything that is holding you back from putting your faith to work, let that thing die today in the name of Jesus. I think somebody can say a better amen to that. Then remember that faith is acting as if you are already in possession of it. Faith is acting as if you are presently in possession of that thing. That's faith. That's faith. Faith is me walking down to my father and telling my father, I need a hundred naira. And because of the faith I have in him, I already have prized what I needed to buy with that hundred, hundred naira. Or faith is, all, I will call it faith again. It's like going out, you know, to look for something or buy something and telling the person, follow me. When I get to my father, you will get your money. That is it. It's just like you waking up and praying to the Lord that I know that when I pray concerning this thing, it must happen. And immediately you pray about it, you begin to go and act it, that it has happened. That is faith. When you say it, you must act it. When you ask it, you must act it. Faith in the Lord. Begin to thank him for his faithfulness and his fulfillment of the promises that the Lord has given unto you. That's showing that you know that you will do it. When you ask of something of him and you begin to exalt his name, begin to thank him, that Father, I thank him for what you have done, just like Jesus Christ. Whenever you, Jesus is praying, you remember when he wanted to break the two loaves of bread and uh, five fishes? He said, Father, I thank you. 
It has not been multiplied at all. But what he said to Father is that, Father, I thank you for you answer me. You know, he believes that it will happen. Jesus Christ believed that it is happening. So who are you following if you cannot act to what you see Jesus do? He just got two, two loaves of bread and five fishes. And he said, Father, I thank you that you will always answer me, that you always answer me. And because he had gone ahead to thank God, I know that this will happen. Definitely it happened. Majorly, that is the reason why we say ourselves that whenever we are praying, the first thing you do is that you go into thanksgiving, you thank the Lord, thanking him for what he has done, what he's doing, and yet what he will do. That is faith in action. How much demonstration are you demonstrating your faith? How much zeal are you putting into demonstrating your faith? How much hope are you having in God that he will do it when you pray it? How much trust are you having in him that he will you know, you, 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 you will act it when you ask it. Glory be to the name of the Lord. We are talking about putting your faith to work. I'll be right back. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. We are still looking at put your faith to work. And the key word I want you to take back from this topic this morning is that when you ask it, ask as in A-S-K, you need to begin to act it. Act it as in A-C-T. Ask it, then act it. Hallelujah. I think somebody is taking something home this morning. Act it when you ask it. Praise the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord for his faithfulness and his fulfillment of his promises. One thing that you need to do often, that's 2 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verse number 20. In faith, choose the name you will call your spouse. Darling, sweet, sweetie, honey, etc. I mean, many things that you can do. In faith, choose the name that you will give that child that the Lord has promised you. You've waited upon the Lord. You have been waiting. And there has been a word of prophecy that says to you that you have a child this year. Give the name to that child. My baby, when you come in nine months, you are going to be Deborah. My baby, when you come in nine months, you are going to be Isaac. My baby, when you come in nine, nine months, you are going to be Joshua. My baby, when you come in nine months, you are, going to, you are going to be Elijah. Give that name. Begin to name your child. Begin to buy the things that your child will be using. If you want a male child, begin to buy the things of a male child. If you want a male, female child, begin to buy the things of a female child. That is putting your faith to work. When there is a word of promise and a word of prophecy, begin to put it to action. Begin to put it to work. With that, the devil does not have any power to stop it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to demonstrate it. Begin to demonstrate it. Begin to choose. Begin to choose, you know, your wedding gown. 
when there is a promise that you are going to get married, begin to choose your wedding gown. Begin to choose things around it. Things that will make the enemy know that he has failed. Has God promised you a child? Begin to demonstrate it. Has he promised you marriage? Begin to demonstrate. Has he promised you breakthrough? Begin to act it. Begin to act it. Begin to hold the key of that car that you are expecting to buy. Begin to hold the key of the house that the Lord has promised that you are going to build. Not that, oh, my salary is 100,000. How, how will God say I will build the house? Are you better than God? Are you stronger than him? One door can be opened and every breakthrough that you need will come. And that which is a, he has promised will begin to come to fulfillment. Begin to act it. Begin to trust him. Trust him. Trust him that he can do it. The way you can put your faith to work is trusting him that he can do it. He's never failed and he will never fail. It's not part of his agenda. Glory be to the name of the Lord. What I want you to take home again this morning is that when you ask it, begin to act it, believing that he can do it. He alone can do it. I pray for you that your faith will begin to work for you from today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to uh, make you know this morning that daily devotional is out for 2024. And it will be of good interest for you. It will be of good benefit for you if you can get one. So that we'll be on the same page when we are doing this daily teaching. If you don't have one today, I encourage you, please go get one. It's all over our bookshops. You can get it in the bookshop of uh, your branches, you know. You can get it in the bookshop of your branches. This is it. As beautiful as, as it used to be. So please endeavor to get one. And as you endeavor to do that, the Lord Almighty will bless you. You will not lack. And it will be of benefit to you, even in the name of Jesus. Close your eyes and let us pray. You will take this one prayer point very fast and very loud and clear. Father, as I knock on faith's door today, let it open to me in the name of Jesus. Father, as I knock on the, on the door of faith today, let it open to me. Let it open to me. Let it open to me. Let it open to me in the name of Jesus. Number two prayer point I want you to take is this. Father, give me the grace to always walk by faith, not by sight in the name of Jesus. That grace to always walk by grace, O oh Lord, for me to walk by faith and not by sight. Give it unto me in the name of Jesus. And you will take the third one very loud and clear. Father, give me the grace that turns promises to testimonies in the name of Jesus. That grace that turns promises to testimony. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word this day. Father, as we go on our endeavors today, Holy Spirit, you will go with us. Help us, O oh Lord, to trust you. Help us and help our faith. Help us to put our faith to work. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you and have a nice time. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.